Hi guys, Cheryl here from DIYXE, your resource for sublimation tutorials and digital designs. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to clean out the ink pads on your Epson printer and reset your counter. So let's go ahead. Okay, so if you get this ink pad full error, the first thing that you're going to need to do is download the program to reset the key. So you're going to go to resetkey.net and you're going to download this WIC reset tool. Um, there's the Windows and the Mac there. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to open it up and it looks like this right here. Um, as you can see, I've got all my printers over on the side loaded up here. So I've actually got two printers here. So to check which one we need to reset, you're going to click down here, read waste counter. So when we bring that up, you can see here, waste ink pad counter overflow. So we're at 100%, it's reached its limit and needs to be reset. So once we're ready to reset, we're gonna hit the reset waste counter. And this is gonna be where you enter your key. So if this is your first time resetting this printer, you can just use the code trial and you'll get a free reset. Um, so once the trial key here, it says it'll reset it to 80%, so you'll only be able to print 80% of what you did last time, but that's okay. Um, can only be used once for each printer. So we'll hit yes there. Okay, and then in order to apply the changes, we need to turn the printer off. So you can go ahead and do that now. And that's it. It's actually a super simple process. Um, so as you can see there, your waste counter has now been reset. Uh, you turn it back on and you'll be able to use the printer as normal. Um, so next I'll show you how to wash out those ink pads um, because that's going to stop your waste tank from overflowing. Um, believe me, that's not a pretty sight. I've had that happen. So we'll do that next. All right, so you're going to come around to the back of the printer here. Remove this screw here and then you're going to take this panel off. It can be a little bit difficult to get off pop it off there and there and then you are going to remove this cartridge here this is another screw right here and then you can just slide that one out be careful not to tilt this one because that's where your ink pads are going to be so as you can see there it's all full of ink so you're going to go ahead and pull those out. You might want to put gloves on or something because there's going to be a lot of ink in there and you're going to wash them out. Just going to continue to wash out the pad until it starts to run clean. And then once you're finished washing them out, you're going to want to let them dry. Um, typically, you're going to want to let them dry for at least a day. They do take quite a while to dry just because they do absorb so much liquid. So as you can see, the process really isn't that difficult and doesn't take very long. Uh, this is super valuable because it can really prolong the life of your printer. You can just do that same process every time it gives you that error and continue on using that printer. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, thanks guys.